From the Fox 26 studios, this is Houston's Morning Show. Arguably nothing is more annoying than a cracked or perhaps scratched cell phone screen. Does that drive you nuts when it happens? Well, there are a lot of screen protectors on the market, but which one works the best and are they really worth the money? Let's check in right now with tech expert Nick Walney, who's going to walk us through it. Good morning, Dean Nick. Certainly technology has come a long way, but they're still so scratchable, <laughs> aren't they? That's right, consumers are on their smartphones more than ever before. Research from both Nielsen and eMarketer has found that consumers spend an average of three hours and 45 minutes a day on their smartphones. That's up by over an hour in the last five years. And what makes that really, really annoying is when you have a scratch on your phone. Yeah. Jonathan was just making fun of me earlier. Uh, here's my old phone, and as you can see, completely destroyed because I'm so clumsy, right? So as people are around their phones more and more, there's become a need, a demand for quality screen protectors that are affordable and that will last for years and years, just like your smartphone will. All right, so walk us through the best ways or, or at least what's on the market right now that you can put on that screen to try to protect it. No offense, Nick, so it doesn't look like yours because that would drive me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> None taken, my dog got a hold of it, yeah. There are four types to be aware of, <laughs> all right? So the first one is polyethylene terephthalate, PET for short. Those are the plastic, uh, the plastic protectors that kind of feel like a sticker. You just put them on, they're pretty thin. They don't provide a lot of protection, but if you just need a quick fix at a low price, that is a really popular category. Then you have another category, thermoplastic polyurethane, that's TPU for short. These are the thick, clunky plastic ones that if you ever buy a phone at a store, the rep has to put it on with a spray and squeegee the bubbles out of. It does provide more protection, uh, but it is also visible and it creates a little bit of a clunky look to it. Um, the category that I'm excited about is tempered glass. This used to be pricey, but it's come down a lot in past years. And I recommend if you are buying a smartphone and making a big investment in one, that's taking the time to get a tempered glass protector is gonna be a really good option. And then finally, you have another category, which is kind of cool. It's called nano liquid. Imagine if you were going to uh, do the equivalent of nail polish on your phone screen. So this is a liquid quartz that then it goes onto the phone screen, dries, and that becomes your screen protector. It's not too effective yet, but it's very possible that that will be the future of screen protectors. So a pretty interesting category. All right, Nick, and can I be so brave as to put you on the spot and ask you from those four you just walked us through, as our expert, which one do you think is the best bang for your buck and that will protect your phone the best? Yeah, I think tempered glass is really what consumers should be going with moving forward. You know, you have many other categories and things like that, but what's important to remember is that some of the biggest things that end up scratching your screen are these unexpected culprits. Your car keys are not going to scratch your screen anymore nowadays. The sand in your pocket is a lot more likely to scratch your screen. And so having something that you can put on the phone once and have it be there for years on end and not have to think about it anymore, especially if, as touch technology of phones continues to evolve, I think tempered glass is definitely the way to go, and it's become a lot more price effective in recent years. All right, Nick, thank you for your time today. That was helpful info, and I'm glad to know because I often wonder all of those questions. Have a beautiful day. Thanks, you too.